channel and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lil and for today's video, it is Monday, you know what that means. It's meal prep day. So it's about 11 a.m. I just did the dishes. So if you hear the dishwasher in the background, that's going on. Um, I worked out this morning, breakfast, showered, all the things. Now I'm gonna whoosh to the grocery store. Actually, I have to get my oil changed first and then whoosh to the grocery store. And then I will show you guys everything I bought when I get back and then we will jump into meal prepping for this week. There is a long list of things to prep, so we need to jump on it. All right, let's go. whoosh. Hi, hello. I just got back from the grocery store, so I'm gonna do a little grocery haul and then we're gonna start prepping. A beautiful head of kale. I haven't had kale in a while because it's not in season, so I try to eat more in season, but it's in one of the recipes I'm making today, so. Kale. Some AP flour, because I'm out, I get Barton Springs Mill, so this is locally milled flour with artisan strains of wheat so it's most of my flowers are this brand we've got some brown basmati rice you know what that means we're making curry this week i've just got a bag of red onions coconut sugar this is the sugar that i use in like everything mandarin strawberries and dry chickpeas. I just used the rest of this this morning. I cooked it in my Instapot this morning, so I needed to get some more. Okay, next we've got bananas. You know me, always gotta get bananas. Also, liquid aminos, because I have just like a tiny bit left, so. We've got some cilantro. My cilantro plant outside is doing really well, but it's still you know, only giving me enough for like a little garnish. It's not giving me enough to really throw into recipes, unfortunately, uh, because I don't have a lot of time this week. I also got shredded carrots and my boyfriend wanted carrots to snack on. So I got some rainbow baby carrots for him to snack on. And we got mangoes this week. These are not ripe. So I'm gonna leave them on the counter for a couple days and then they should ripen up pretty quickly. Y'all have seen that I keep eating like banana and peanut butter on Saturday mornings before the gym. I kind of want to see how I feel eating a mango before the gym. That's why I got some mangoes because it's very juicy and very hydrating. Okay, we've also got oat milk, spinach, and baby mixed greens. We're out of vegan A's, so we got some vegan A's. Some frozen peas, tofu medium firm and extra firm, salt and pepper, soft cheese. This is gonna go on one of the salads. I like this brand because it's oil free, so it's just cashews, water, salt, lemon juice, and this one has peppercorns. And then the cultures, the bacteria culture, so love this soft cheese. And hummus for him to dip the carrots in. Okay, last bag, a head of green cabbage. It's going in one of the salads and Honestly, that head of cabbage will last us like a month if you just seal it in a reusable plastic bag and only cut what you need for that week. It lasts like a month or more. Like I've still got red cabbage in my fridge that we're going to use this week. And then a couple little bathroom things. I got our soap and my conditioner. I'm going to put all this away, leave out what we need to leave out, and we're going to get started. Okay, so one of the things that I'm doing this week is portioning out snack packs uh, of carrots for my partner. He asked for carrots and hummus for his snack this week. I don't really snack between meals, but he definitely does, and he always wants to grab chips, but this week he said, get me healthy stuff, so. If I had more like small reusable bags, I would probably use those, but I don't. So we're just gonna use what we have. I think this is actually only gonna make like four containers, which is fine. We have other snacks to uh, prep for him as well. And he can just grab these and grab the hummus. And he's got healthy snacks. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get some unagi sauce going 
it needs to cook for a little bit to thicken up, dissolve all the sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the stove. In the same vein that I put little carrots in a container so that he can just grab them, I'm also going to peel some oranges so that he can just grab them and eat them. This is a tip that I saw on ADHD TikTok. I am all over that, not because of me, but my partner has it. So we're trying to help him out, help him snack healthier. So we're going to peel a bunch of these. I also need them peeled and like the slices pulled apart for salads that I'm making this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel a bunch, see how long they last. I might not peel like enough for the whole week and I might have to like come back and peel some later. I don't know, I just wanna see how long they'll last peeled in a sealed container. So we're gonna see. Container of oranges. Man. Got a bunch more. I'm just gonna put in my fridge. Okay, the next thing I'm going to make is bacon bits for one of the salads. So I'm gonna make it out of TVP textured vegetable protein. different salad dressings for our salads this week. That's the first dressing, now we're going to jump to the second dressing.
These strawberries will be for one of the salads and the red onions as well. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the marinade that the tofu is gonna cook in for the other salad. I'm not gonna cook the tofu today, I'm gonna cook it right when we're ready to eat, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix the marinade, so all I have to do is pour it in there, don't have to measure anything. Easy peasy. These red peppers are also going to be for my salads. Or red and orange pepper. The last thing that we're gonna make before we actually make an entire meal, so dinner tonight, that will also be dinner in a couple of days, we're gonna make granola because I'm almost out. So let's make some granola. This will be granola. Okay, actually, I'm sorry, I lied. This will be the first, or this will be the last recipe we make before we make a full dinner. Um, I am making habanero oil for spiced soup. I'm making this now because spicy peppers are in season and Spice soup is a winter dish, so if I make the habanero oil now, I'm making like a cup of it, then I will have it to make spice soup all winter long. And yes, I'm wearing gloves to cut spicy peppers. I'm also gonna cut a little spicy peppers for the curry. Yeah. to bring this to a bubble and let the habaneros cook until they're like starting to crisp up and then strain them out I actually probably gonna save the habaneros to use as to use to make like a crispy spicy topping or just to use in other recipes okay now I don't know how spicy these are so I don't know if I should use both or just one I might have to lick it to find out um, and I have a little bit of onions left over from last week so we're gonna use this we're gonna chop up another onion to be small
Okay, maybe like half of one. Flavor's really nice. But that is very spicy. Also, I feel like they're spicier because they came from the farmer's market. And I swear, locally grown organic hot peppers are always spicier. my Instapot to saute and we're gonna go ahead and start cooking this curry while I chop up the rest of the stuff. So in here is just the garlic, onions, and the half of the super spicy pepper. And I'm gonna water saute. This is what the granola looks like. And this cooking back here. I also need to get the basmati cooking. Apparently both my SD cards are full, so we've switched to my phone. In here is the onions, the mushrooms, the garlic, the spicy pepper. Also red curry paste, our curry powder, and tomato paste. So I'm just toasting up the spices and I'm gonna add my potatoes in next. throwing in my lentils, the chickpeas I cooked this morning, and my frozen peas. And now I'm going to toss in just enough water to cover everything, make it liquidy. And those potatoes and lentils will cook in about five or 10 minutes, probably just five. I'm just gonna start with five, no time at all. That's ready to go. While that's cooking, we're going to prepare our cashew cream because we're using a cashew cream instead of coconut today and our kale. Okay, we've got our cashew cream, kale, bell peppers, cilantro, and salt. This guy just went off, so I'm gonna open it up. Vent it first. going to stir in our bell peppers and our kale now to keep this hot I'm gonna keep it on saute I'm now gonna mix in my cashew cream This will give it that nice creaminess and thicken it up a lot. The last thing we're going to mix in here after we turn this off is the cilantro. I'm going to save a little bit of it so I have a garnish. And now I'm ready to plate this up. There you have a coconut free yellow curry. Ah! Oh, sliding around too much. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. <clears throat> I hope that you enjoyed all of the meals. Let me know which one in the comments was your favorite meal and if you are going to try any of them or if this inspired you to make something, let me know. I want to talk to y'all. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.